Welcome back to the Dragon Garage, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with the Subaru Impreza WRX 2011. And back here in Super Street. Um, I'm going to guess the updates have rolled out for this game as they promised. Because I haven't seen anything on Twitter. Nor have I seen anything on the Discord thing they have. So I'm going to guess this is it. So we're going to try... And see if we can build up to get the engine swap. And we are going to put the 2JZ, the 3 liter 6 inline. It's what we were going to try to put in instead of putting in the box or the actual stock uh, motor for this car. We're going to try to fit in this wonderful little 2J. Or at least that's the idea. Let's try to fit this into it. So we're just going to be doing race after race. And once again, I think I want to change those headlights. Or do I like the build? I like the way it looks. But I want to paint that front end. Hold on a minute. I want the headlights. Where are the headlights at? They're over here in their actual section and lights. That's right, I originally had those. Then we have the customs. Which are 500. Yeah, we're going to keep those. Because those fit in with the car. Those fit. Those do fit. So we're going to put it to see if the motor sounds do change and if there is a handling difference. The last video I had with the Golf felt like there was a difference. That or I just couldn't drive the Golf and I can't remember. Okay, so we're down here slamming us. we got to do the time trial. So let's get the time trial rocking and rolling. Ah, crap. Put that down. Put that down. We don't need it. We don't need it. We don't want it. Alright, nothing we need slash nothing we want. Eventually, I'm going to get a pop filter for that thing, so we'll see what that comes out of it. Alright, so right now, we still got the flat. Alright, X is nitro. Bump stiff and still a little hard. Drifting is still slightly awkward. I'm going to sit there and guess and say that, that no, the uh, update hasn't came out just yet. Let me turn the volume down so I don't have to talk so loud. I feel like I'm talking so loud. Woo. Oh, I still love this game for all it's worth. I still love it. I've been playing a lot of fours a yes, but... What Forza doesn't give you is decent customization. Need for Speed doesn't give you enough. This gives you everything. So I still stand by, even after playing the new Forza. While Forza does give you a lot, or offer a lot, with the off-road, that car's had a bad day. You just don't get a whole... I like a game with lots of customization, which is where, in my opinion, this game still rules. Though... The graphics ain't even that bad. At least to me, they're not. I don't think they are. I mean, are they the, probably the best out there? No, they don't fit or, like, compete with Forza's. But how can you... But at least in Forza, you can't do floppy ears. I can sit there and floppy ears that car all day long. Just flop, flop, flop. But, at the same time... Don't get the customization. I like a game with a lot of customization, which is where this game extremely excels, which I've said and will continue to say. So I'm wondering if they might push everything back to November, where the big update was supposed to be, because I can't actually guarantee anything has come out because I haven't seen anything on Twitter or Xbox. And I don't know what's coming. They just said sometime in October, so they may have pushed it back or they may not have. Or they may be waiting for November, not telling anybody. I mean, nothing. There's just like no, nothing being said. At least nothing that I've, excuse me, have heard. I haven't heard anything, at least. Ooh, a little loose. But I like an arcade racer opposed to simulation. 
Got that thump thump in the trunk, son. But that's why I kind of prefer this game. Is I like the old school simulations versus the old school uh, arcades like the old Neighbor Speed Underground, which in my opinion had the best handling of any racing game ever. If Neighbor Speed were to go back and redo or like make a game with those physics, Forza wouldn't know what to do with itself. Like it couldn't compete. Honestly, if Neighbor Speed actually just went back and did uh, redo or you know come out with a new Underground, which since we haven't heard anything online except for you know their last update where they're releasing cars, so they're just right now posting where car locations are throughout. Um, Ventura Valley. I'm not Ventura Valley. What the hell? Um, what the hell is it called? Shit. Ventura Bay is what 2015 was. Fortune, Fortune Valley. There we go. Fortune Valley. Had Bay, or, uh, Ventura Bay and Fortune Valley. Those are the two game cities. So right now they're just like giving away boss cars and other stuff they've already, you know, had. That's another thing they need to fix is the breakable poles. Which I think may have been on the list, or maybe not. I don't know. But, that's about all Neighbor Speed's really got right now. Which, if they were to go and... In my opinion, break away from their, um... You're hired. Unlock your first crew member. I've got them all, folks. It's nothing new. But, if they were to, um, do that, I don't understand what that's about, but if they were to go and try to rework that magic, I think they could be the best game, or they really need to do what Most Wanted 5, because it, Most Wanted 5 still holds the only game to West, to win best of E3 out of everything. Like, it didn't just win best of the racing game genre, it won best best of E3 back in 2005 no it showcased in 04 which means it released in 2000 no it probably showcased in 05 and probably released that fall oh this is destruction I hate destruction I'm not good with destruction considering I, I'm a person that really loves destroying cars I'm really bad at these destructions really am. which is kind of an odd thing really Sign, take you out. Get a piece. Make any of you. Trash everywhere. I can't hit any of it. Is that gold? Is that it? Ah, crap. No, I did beat it. Because all I needed is 800 and I got 1080. Yeah, there we go. But anyway, if Neighbor Speed would actually do that, and they need to step away from not so much the actual real-world parts, but so much of the part restrictions, like, make their own. Like, back in the day, they used to have their own body kits, or, like, body parts. Like, they wouldn't all just be, um... Uh, actually real war parts like they would design their own so that way there wasn't any restrictions especially in carbon like you could actually make those the way you wanted them like they had that auto scroll feature that you could do it which is something that this game could probably benefit from pretty good but I'm not sure if they'll do it so we're gonna have to see what comes out in November at least I haven't seen if they've had a release date on it I can't remember how this one goes no 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 Maybe? Shit. I can't remember how this one goes. But, I mean, I love Need for Speed and I still do it, but the last... But my problem... I couldn't make a car look good. Because they only had certain cars. Like, I... Like, I, you understand that only certain... Like, how the... Um... The debating table 
goes like, well, or the rights work like, well, we'll give you rights to this car to use for this game and whatnot. The last two times, the only Subaru they've had in the game, which this is model after an 11, but it doesn't actually have the real world um, name to it because of the, uh, that's how they got their restrictions. They didn't use actual real world cars. They just animate, or animated them. So that's D over there. Oh, hell. I remember that now. I remember this one. Interesting. That was interesting. I never did that before. I just want to see if I can prove this theory, because this... Uh, I'm not going to make it in the time limit. Hell no. I forgot about this one. Go off the road for this one. Wee. Nah, it's too far away. There ain't no way now. Ah. Alright, yeah. Alright, so that is the right way. Okay. So that is the way to do it. Okay. But. They didn't, they modeled them after real world cars, but they didn't actually get the license to use them, so that's why they call them something different, so they could do that. But, if Need for Speed's going to do it, they need to do what Forza does and get multiple variations of cars, because each variation of the car has it. Like, I'm not a fan, or a huge fan, I would say, out of the hatchback WRX, the 2012 or the 2010. I love the sedans. Like, give us an 04, an 11, you know, sitting just, you know, from different generations. I mean, if you're gonna do it, do it that way. But, you know, that's, you know, the offering table, which Need for Speed needs to make a comeback, which i thinking, at least the theory that's going around between me and my friends is, will, or like, what, why would they pull out is that next year they're having the release of the new Supra. Like, um, this year, at, or like, in January when they have that big auto show in Japan is when we believe they're going to do the uh, announcement. For, I think, no, it's not the Geneva. It's the Japanese Motor Show. That's what it's called. Is when they're going to do the, re, or the release of the new 2019. BMW has already released the X3. And if it looks anything, or which they're supposed to be partnered, if it looks absolutely anything like what the X or whatever the, I can't remember what it's called, the Z4, Z4, whatever the hell it was partnered with, if it looks anything like that, the Super is going to look almost pretty damn identical to the original. The Motor Trend has said it's actually supposed to be around the same um, uh, dimensions of it, or like the dimensions and weight size of the original car. So we're thinking that's what Toyota's waiting for. And if you remember correctly, or not correctly, but remember the big thing that uh, Ford's always had with Porsche, that EAL actually legally held the rights to Porsche for any racing game. Like if a racing game had, or if a any racing game wanted Porsches in their game, they would have to get special permission from EA to use them. Because EA hold or held the game rights to it. I don't know how EA managed to get that or how that crap worked or what. But like if you want to see a Porsche in a race game, like especially in the Forza series, which is Porsche is very popular, you always had to pay those huge expensive, you know, $30, $40 um, Porsche packs. This is not the right way. This is the right way. But at least there's stuff to destroy. Because it went this way. Thank you. I have no idea if this is even the right way. I'm just going to come through and destroy a bunch of shit. It says we're going the wrong way, but oh well. Screw the rat. There's stuff all over the city to destroy. We're just going to blow it up. We're just going to break it. We're just going to destroy it and just take it out. 360. day. Jump down here and just total the car. I need to paint those upper lights. That's for freaking sure. Okay, this time we'll pay better attention to where the hell the road's going. 
But anyway, the point is that we're thinking that and Toyota and Microsoft right now have a deal with their cars that, you know, if you want like an onboard computer or like those computers, like your touchscreen things in your modern cars, Toy or Toyota is having Microsoft do those instead of like Google. It's like Microsoft. They're using like Windows 10, which is always going to be a pain in the ass if you ever need a damn update. But you, you get the idea here. But we're thinking that maybe Microsoft might have or not have a deal, or probably does have a deal, or like trying to get Toyota to be like, hey, you know, Forza, or EA did this for us for so long, why don't we get them back, you know, do a little political thing here, and Toyota wasn't down for it, so that's why Toyota didn't, or like wasn't in the past Need for Speed, or really in the last Forza, even though there's three Toyotas, we got the new Arctic truck, the AT38, the old Arctic truck, the... The one from Top Gear, that, that red Hilux. And you know. Get them all. Anyway. But I mean, you get the idea what I'm coming off here saying. I'm not gonna make it again. Shoot. I got second with 22. Like I said, I'm not good at these destruction ones, so we're gonna wind up doing this one again. Junior Street Racer, featured on social media. Done that before already, too. But these achievements are so wild because I done beat the game by the time the achievements came out. Or maybe Toyota is just waiting for that. But I'm thinking around January, there might be a huge uh, car pack release. Or like maybe they'll come in the expansion pack, which is actually set for this December, so no one coming that. But anyway, it's. It's been kind of small talk in the underground that Toyota might be coming back to the gaming scene. And hopefully it does, because honestly, the Supra is my favorite car. So right now, my best hope of getting a hold of a Supra in a racing game is this game, because since they're not actually using the actual licenses and not calling the cars what they are, they're just using parts, or like making parts. So like, our current best hope slash bet is like you know they model it in which since they're not doing that there's not really much reason why they couldn't so i mean that's kind of like our bet right now is those right there i'm not sure if holding that drift button's helping me or not i'm trying to like get more angle try to get like more parts out and i don't think it is i don't think it is because this runs kind of trash Got all the crap out here, to, and I missed all of it. That was a crap run. That was a crap run. But like, if you're getting what I'm saying here, is if they make a comeback, it might be the reason they're waiting is to get the new super out and have all the cars. But at the same time, it kind of makes you sit there and think, will they actually? You know, I mean, it didn't really make much sense to pull out of the last Need for Speed and this one, like. But just because they're waiting on this car to be released, why do they have why do they have to pull the old ones off? That's a good honest question and we don't know. Not exactly hundred percent like, you know, certain as to why Toyota pulled. There wasn't really much thing. Uh, Need for Speed gave a little bit and said that, you know, for negotiations and whatnot that like for whatever reason we're not Well the thing I'm, I'm trying to focus on this and I'm getting aggravated. They need to make these damn things stronger, like, damn it, man. But, um, one of the things that uh, Neighbor Speed had mentioned something about was negotiations. Like, for each, you know, game, negotiations for, alright, this is what we'll do to get the car in the game, or, you know, what we're gonna, you know, just, you know, that stuff. So, it's. Knowing that Toyota or like Need for Speed says something like that, like you know, versus the negotiations and whatnot, that's where kind of makes you want to sit there and God damn. makes you sit there and think to yourself, or not think to yourself, but wonder like, what was you know, what did Toyota or you know the company want that kept these cars out of the game? 
But I think throwing in the T100 Baja, the racing truck, which is from Toyota Motorsports, that's TRD, Toyota's thing, is a good sign that says they're still willing to put the cars in the game. Because unlike the Arctic trucks, the two Arctic trucks, where they are made by a different company, yes, they have Toyota badges, but they are then sent somewhere else and then remade. So that's a whole other different licensing thing right there. The Toyota is just a base car. The, um... The actual company that made the Arctic trucks, they hold the rights to those cars. That's not a Toyota built car. It's a base built car, but not like the actual... Oh, come on. That's just... Mm. I'm getting aggravated. But you get what I'm saying here. Is I'm about to accept the second place and go do something else. I really am. Last run, if we don't get it, we're going second place. I'll come back and get it later. We'll, we'll worry about it later. We just need the money. But the fact that, you know, the representative for Need for Speed had said, well, with, you know, always negotiation, you know, things can... I don't remember exactly what I said. It's been a while. But anyway, he did not mention negotiations. So that's kind of what makes you sit there and go, what did Toyota want to have the Supra and all the other cars back in? Or what was the negotiation feature that went or to the reason why they decided to keep their cult classic Face it, folks. Toyota's got, or the Super is a cult classic and has a cult following very well. I am in the cult. I don't own one. I want one. It's one of my dream cars. You can keep your Ferrari, your Lamborghini. Just give me one of those. That's all I want. Give me a Super. I'm happy. That one might be enough. Is that enough? Thank God we got it. A little bit extra. A little extra cash. A little extra. There we go. Last time's the charm. But that kind of, but still the theory still holds there. It's like, why didn't? Like knowing you have all these fans and stuff, and the fact that just having you in the game means you get the money because they get paid for having those cars in there. The more copies the game sells, the more it has. It's a you know industry that they missed on. Because they didn't have the car. So that's just kind of where Toyota's, or like where Toyota missed out. And it kind of makes all of us fans go, why did they pull? You know? Why did, you know, what went, what was the negotiations that Toyota wanted, or what they wanted out of this? Forza never said anything. They were just like, you don't want in? Bah, the heck with you. Because they never said anything. They just said the cars ain't going to be in the game. That's about the end of it. It was actually Need for Speed that actually came out and told us and been like, hey, you know, this is, you know, they're not going to be in the games. And, you know, gave a little bit on, gave us the spotlight on negotiations. So it's just like, where did the negotiations go awry? You know, what was Toyota wanting to have them in the game? You know, was it the money, the rights? Did Microsoft want their, like I mentioned, you know, having getting back at EA for the um, for what happened with Porsche for all those? I think it was a good ten years that EA had the hold of the rights, or Porsche signed an agreement with, you know, EA and Need for Speed that the only games that Porsches would be in unless given permission by EA to put them in the game was the need for speed or anything EA did. So, you know, for them to be in the Microsoft Forza Horizon, you know, the rights, or they had to get the rights also, not just from Porsche, but EA to say, yeah, you can use them. Yeah, you can have them in the game. So, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, if Microsoft wanted to use Toyota that way, and Toyota was like, no, we don't want to do that because of our fans because it's not right. And Microsoft put a hold on them, or you know, because they needed that, so they're fearful that they would lose more money, you know, because Microsoft wouldn't be doing the computer for their cars, and they fear that their car they'd have to spend more money on someone else to do them than just them being in a game, so they went ahead and opted out. So I don't know if they ever, if that's even remotely close. Believe me, not in there. This is, you son of a 
a bitch. Oh, I need a Monos. Oh, come on. Oh, that's right. Start wrecking. Wreck yourselves. Wreck them, wreck them, wreck them, wreck them. Let me help you out there. Let me help myself out right there. Let me help you out with that. I love the wreck in this game. The fact that they attack each other's game is awesome. But, you know, it's just that's kind of like the question. It's like, is that what happened? You know, it, it's all just what I'm thinking. There's not, not a lot of evidence was ever given as to why they were just pulled. Or why they said, no, we're not going to be in this. I don't know. It's just... So, the answer, you know... I know no one's even asking this question anymore, and I'm not sure many people care, but just for me it does, and that's kind of where this video went off. Wasn't really supposed to, but it kind of went. At least it's decent commentary with also trying to build up enough cash to put the 2J in the car. It's probably where this went. Which I'm kind of actually sad then in Forza that you can't 2J the Baja truck. I would rather yanked it if you had them drop a 2J in it. But, oh well. So, it's just kind of the head scratcher to be like... You know, why did We're just going to have to see. And nobody knows what the next game for Need for Speed's going to be. I mean, that's not coming. I mean, we're still in 2018. That's not even going to be showcased to early. And when I say early, I mean in like... Probably around either the beginning of... I think last year when they started for Payback. Actually, that last... Or that first note... They gave a talking about it next year where the title was actually hidden in the, the letter, like paying it back. So, as for what Need for Speed has in plan, I don't know. They're getting their formula right, but they need to go back to the free roam cop chase, not just the bake race. They need to junk that idea. Which I'm thinking after, especially all the complaints it received because of how bad that, that was. But keep the online free room, or the offline free room. Keep that and just fix your cops. Where the hell am I going? I hate that corner. But, back to what we were talking about. So as far as what's going to happen this year, I don't know. For Need for Speed, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not very sure. But... Just hopefully, hopefully Toyota will come back. Hopefully Toyota will come back for Forza. It's the only thing I'm just waiting on. It's just, I want my car back. Like, I love Subaru. I drive a 99 Legacy. Subaru has a spot in my heart. It's moved from a car that I never would have ever considered driving in a racing game to, if I can get a hold of a Supra, I'm looking for a Subaru to drive. I'm looking for it. Which, in Forza, I have an 04, which the only... The way to get a hold of that hold of an 04 is to um, win in a wheel spin. I had one come on the auction house and one there for 30 seconds before I finally grabbed it. I actually bought one. Bought that sucker out the first chance I got. I hunt that freaking Civic down. But. But, but, but. My only complaint with Need for Speed and the Subaru is the customization lacks, like where this game, come on, that wasn't too bad, I'm not sure if we're going to win this one, that car, it, it's a Honda Acura, like I found the front end, but the back end does resemble a Supra, not enough for me to go sit there and say it has a big Honda icon, they're actually going to mix match it, hell no, so it's technically an Acura, but you can throw Supra lights on it, Supra had three on no, but just bear with me on that one, but, Anyway, for Need for Speed, I'm hoping it's the underground. Like, I'm hoping they'll just get the idea, pull the trigger completely. I mean, pull the trigger and be like, you know what? Yeah. We're going to do it. We're going to, you know, we're eliminating the parts restrictions. We'll go back. We'll animate. We'll make some of our own parts, not just Ghost. You know, do what Black Box did. Have 20, 30 freaking options for different cars. Bring different car models in, not just have one brand of a car. Or like, you know, one thing of a car, just, you know, the one WRX will do two or three of, you know, for the different people who like the different ones. Because I prefer the sedan to the damn uh, hatchback. The hatchback's good, but the only two customization to get for are just not good. I mean, just pull the trigger. Pull the ridiculous. 
Need for Speed isn't supposed to be Forza where everything's supposed to make sense. It's supposed to be crazy. It's supposed to be wild. It's not supposed to be conservative. The car parts aren't supposed to make sense. You know, I'm supposed to be able to build, do what I do in this game, and just build what I want. Slap it together and make it look, yes. You know, just, you know, it's supposed to tickle my fancy. Need for Speed hasn't done that. I mean, the last, the gra or not, the graphics, the story, which needed, hopefully they won't do that action crap where the people are named, just, our guy shouldn't be named, don't swap between three different drivers, just us make some NPC characters that talk and yak will interact a little bit, but you know, our guy shouldn't, I'm on the front end again, there we go, you know, something like that, most one of those five, to go back to that decade. Which, the thing is, Ghost Games, which is the company they EA made to do Need for Speed, didn't exist back then. That was Black Box. That was a whole other company. Which, you have to understand, different companies will do different things. But I'm just saying, the winning formula is in Black Box. Get some of those old people. Them old guys that worked on it. I can't guarantee they're doing anything or not. I don't know if they're doing anything, but I'm just saying, call them up. Get some formula numbers. There's a reason 05 won Best of E3, and it's still a cult classic to this day. Underground and Underground 2, and Most Wanted and Carbon is still the golden era Need for Speed. Four years? Oh, hell, I did it again. Never mind, it worked. It almost worked out. Oh, it worked out. I'm still in the fighting range. I mean, it's still there. Oh, yeah, it's still there. Amazon. Civic wants to fight, but the Civic can't keep up. But, I mean, just call them up, get some of the four of you. There's nothing wrong with going back in time and picking up. What the hell is that guy doing? I took that corner way too damn hot. But oh well, it's going to work out in my favor a little bit. I can get through here okay in this last turn. I should be okay. Just don't, 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 don't do what I want. There you go. There we go. Nah, we good, Holmes. We good. Drop it and pop. It. There you go. Cross the line without a front end. Nice tires. But, I mean, that's just what... You know, I mean, there ain't nothing wrong going back. Believe me, the fan base ain't gonna hate you for going back in time and getting some elements out of that. Which they've already done use Cross. Cross actually did have a cameo in Payback. I mean, if they were just to take the Bayview map the Rockport app and Power Map, put all those three together and be like, why don't we go back here and just race it? You wouldn't hear me complain. The map doesn't have to be new. They wouldn't even have to update it. Just, you know, make the graphics look good. I'll play the hell out of it. Bring the cars back. Bring the Super. Bring the multiple styles back. Bring back the 04, the 11. Keep, keep the hatchback if you must. But I'm just saying... That's what we're looking for. I like what we fans want. I mean, I get why they're trying to, you know, every different company, especially when it's a new one to a game, has their own idea of what this means to them. So, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with going back in the magic while also putting in your own spin. Fuck you, car. There's nothing wrong with that. And I'm not saying they have to do it this way. It doesn't have to be a Black Box style game. It can be a Ghost Games. But I'm just saying, go into the back. Go back in Go back in time. Find a little bit of that old magic and mix it with yours. Get the brew going. Mix it all in. Make it right. Make it tight. Just cars. Cars and customization. And a decent story. Well, I mean, heck, look at Underground. It's a cult classic. And it had a comic book strip for its story. Wasn't a whole heck of a lot there. Nice barrel roll. But I mean, you know. Redline it. There you go. I'm not sure if we're even going to get six out of this. I think we wasted too much time with stupid stuff. But we'll see. See if we can build back up some time. Well, we get a car reset. I'm not sure how much time they get off the clock, though. Kind of nah, so that's not good. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to hit the magic mark of 16. 
Oh. Rip that guy. Rip him. Oh, come on. Just put back. Oh, damn it. Oh, it says we got gold. Never mind. We're good. Never mind. Time can expire. I always like to get one extra just to be safe. Now time can expire. But, like, if you're getting what I'm saying, or like not, like, you know, like the video. I mean, we're not ending it just yet. We gotta get that engine in there. We gotta run it and race just to see if it's changed. Yet. But I'm just saying, if you like the conversation, like the talk, like the video, subscribe. Especially if you're new, which my demographic honestly do say that more than 50% of you are new travelers to the channel and ain't hitting that subscribe button. Analytics tell me that. To the 20% of my subscribers that actually do chill out, thank you for watching and being awesome. But the new people, th this is the channel. This is it. Racing game story with a little bit of commentary and multiplayer in it. It's all in there. Drop it in. All right, now, let's see if it's any different. Let's see if that update's fixed anything. Got a... This is new. A horse. A horse with a mighty roar. I'm not exactly sure if I would call a Subaru a horse with a roar. I mean, generally, it's get a flat four. But, you know... That's what it is. So, this is going to be one of the longer Super Street videos, and I think I like it. Talked a lot. Definitely need to get a condenser on this. Get a bigger something. So, see if they've changed anything. So, I'm not going to waste it just yet. Sounds like it's different. Can't tell if that's them or my motor. Alright. Predominant beginning... Nope, the update has not rolled out yet because one of the things they were supposed to change is the engine noise. And that's the exact same sound the flat four had. Yeah, this ain't that motor. Yeah, I can done tell you it's not. We'll save this actual race for now on, but just to clarify once again what this motor is supposed to sound like, let me get that event real fast. I think it's down here in this one. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Alright. This is the 2J. This is what the 2J should sound like. This is what it is. Of course, unless you want the BMW 3 liter in like 6 twin turbo, because they have one. Which, according to Motor Trend, is what the Supra, or the new Supra, is going to have in it. Which, we know damn well they're not about to put that BMW shit into it. At least I hope not. Hear that? That's different. Here's the 2J. Now, let me crash into the wall just that way you can sit there and look at it. Hate to wreck the crawl, though. See? There's the motor. There's the motor. Good sound? That's the 2J, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, remember, like and subscribe. This ain't channeling for free, folks. Well, actually, it is for free. But you gotta like and subscribe so that way I know to keep making. Trying to hit 150. Help a brother out. Hit the button. Ain't gotta hit the bell. Just hit that subscribe button. I mean, just poke it, and you're good. Alright, see y'all in the next.